What's up everybody, this is Brian back with another deck profile. What do I got for you today? Fluffles. And like I said in my last video, uh, this is all old stuff. She doesn't have any of the new support. Um, I will also be featuring my baby mom's uh, ghost tricks and um, prediction princess when she gets them. Let's just get into it. Hey Jim, saw she was running like three of these because these are your draw power. Agent Saber. Um, you're going to be using him for most of your fusion materials, um, besides your fluffles, for your uh, fusion monsters. Agent Chain. Searches himself out um, and also searches, uh, searches a Fright for a card from your deck to your hand. So, um, that's good for getting like your uh, traps or counter trap some of your spells. Um, Fluffle Cat. What it does? If this is car if this card is sent to the grave as fusion material, target a poly and add it to hand. A lot of the uh, fluffles that we're going to be talking about do the same thing. Fluffle Dog allows you to add um, fluffles from your deck to your hand um, or Edge and Saber. So, uh, Fluffle Owl lets you add polymerization from your deck to your hand. You pay 500 life points and you special fright for a fusion monster from your extra deck. So, you should be running three of these. Fluffle Sheep. His effect is nothing special. Um, if you control Fluffle Monster, you can special this card. Return to another Fluffle Monster, you control the hand special and edge and monster from your hand or, gra hand or grave. Pretty much you're just trading one for another. Um, Fluffle Leo. His effect isn't anything special either. He just gains 500 attack during if he attacks. But at 1600, he's one of the stronger Fluffles. Fluffle Rabbit. Um, what he does is if he's sent to Grave for Fusion Material, you can target a Agent Saber or Fluffle Monster and Grave and add it to hand. Pretty much this allows you to recover your Fusion, uh, your Fluffles. Fluffle Penguin, it just another draw card, uh, draw power. Uh, Fluffle Bear. What it does is you can send this card from your hand to grave and add or set a toy vendor directly from your deck. Tribute this card to add a poly from your grave. Yet again, adding poly from grave. Fright for a fusion. Um, spell card for your fusions. Future fusion. You know what this does. Uh, Fright for a factory. Um, what it does is banish a polymerization or fusion spell card from grave. Fusion summon a fright for a fusion monster from extra deck. This card is sent to grave. You can target when you're banished fright for a fusion and add it to your hand. Just allows you to recover your fusion materials. Um, Toy Bender also lets you. It's the spell version of uh, Fluffle Dog, essentially. Fright for Sanctuary. Um, this does is you activate it by discarding a card it's sending to Fright for Monsters from Extra Deck to Grave. All fusion monsters are treated as Fright for Monsters. If this card is sent to Grave, you can target a Fright for a fusion and return it to the Extra Deck. I mean, that's good for recovery, but it's not helpful. Uh, Suture Rebirth. What it does is you can target a Fluffle or Fright for a Monster in a Grave and special it, but its effects are negated. 
not solidarity. Since the Fluffles are weak to begin with, if you're going to summon them, use this card to power them up. Um, Fright for a March. The counter trap for the deck. Um, what it does is when an opponent would activate it, a spell trap or monster effect is activated that targets a fright, a fright for monster or monsters, negate the activation, and destroy it. Then you can send the target. Then you can send one of the targeted fright for monsters to the grave, and if you do special level eight or higher fright for fusion monster from your extra deck during the end phase, banish the monster special summoned. I mean, it gets one of your more powerful, any of your powerful fusion monsters out, but it banishes it too. Sign or fright for. Um, what it does is you target edge number of fluffle monster and grave a special if you do. It can be treated as a fright for a fusion monster for a fusion summon. Again, also letting you fusion summon. Fluffle Crane. What it does is you can tar when a face up fluffle monster monsters you control is destroyed by an opponent's attack or card effect and sent to grave target one of those destroyed monsters is added to your hand if you do draw a card. I find this probably one of the most useful traps in the deck. Now, extra deck. Fright for Bear. What he does is when he destroys a monster by battle and sends it to grave, you can equip that monster to this card and it gets this effect. The equipped monster gains a thousand attack. Pretty much, it's like a fusion version of uh, Honor Arc. Fl uh, Fright for Tiger. What he does so when he's fusion summon target cards on the field up to the number of fusion materials used for it, destroy them all. All Fright for monsters you control gain 300 attack for each Fluffle and Fright for monster you control. And that's really good, but, but for a fusion monster, he's pretty weak. Fright for Sabertooth. Um, what he does is when he's fusion summon, you can target Fright for monster and grave special it. Off Fray for Monsters gain 400 attack. If this card was fusion summoned by using three or more fusion materials, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. It's a really um, helpful. Uh, Fray for Chimera. Um, what he does, if he battles, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects, which is an ancient gear effect. That when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to grave, you can special that monster to your field and its attack is halved. This card gains 300 attack for each monster you control that it is owned by your opponent. So pretty much, it's like it's also like a Red Eye Zombie Dragon. It brings back your opponent's monsters. Uh, Fright for a Wolf. By the way, the only fusion she's missing is uh, Fright for a Kraken. What Wolf does is this card can attack a number of times each battle phase up to the number of fusion materials used for it. Eh, I guess that's decent. Uh, Fright for a Daredevil. Um, what he does when he destroys an opponent's monster by battle and inflicts a thousand damage to them, this is if this face of card is destroyed by battle, it relieves the field because of, of, of a card effect. Your opponent's card effect, while well, its owner controls it, you can inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent for each Fright for Monster in your grave. I think he's probably got the most useful effect besides Chimera. And Fluffle sh and Fright for Sheep. Which, when he battles your opponent, he has an Ancient Gear effect as well. This card is destroyed by battle and sent to grave, or if it's destroyed by card effect, sent to grave, you can special summon this card. If you do, it gains 800 attack. Just gains attack. Nothing special. That's it for Fluffles. Hit like or subscribe. Now we'll be having more deck profiles um, in the near future and more duels.
Catch you on the flip side.